Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of All About. Today's episode is sure to blow your brains because our topic is something that would actually eat them. That's right, we're discussing zombies. Zombies are defined as undead creatures from the, from the reanimation of human corpses. Zombies are most commonly found in horror and fantasy genre work, although some people claim that they truly exist in real life. While the fad was considered to have died out a few years ago, this hot topic was recently brought up again in the media with shows like The Walking Dead. Today to help us discuss zombies in today's culture, the myth they're real, how to kill them, and what, they can, what you can do to survive the zombie apocalypse, we have renowned RMU zombie expert Kristen Kudla. Kristen, thank you for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. And we're, we'll just start with the poster that's behind you right now. I take it you're a large Walking Dead fan. Oh, absolutely. Did you start watching the TV show first or the comics? Because I know that there's two separate stories going on in each of them. Well, uh, I actually started off with the TV show, but originally when the series came out, I actually thought it was probably one of the stupidest things to come to television. But after I actually gave it a chance, I fell in love with the show. And then I found out it was actually a comic. And so I knew a friend who had them, and he raved about them. And so I was like, hey, let me read one. And I read one, and instantly I read, I believe it was 20 volumes in 15 days, I think. It was, I, was, I was pounding out, like, one, two, two uh, comics, like, each day. That sounds potentially unhealthy, Kristen. It was mixed in with my academics, so I was still focusing on school, because school comes first. Do you like the comics more than the TV show then, or do you prefer the story on the TV show more? I, I, pr I prefer the comics by far, because their storylines are so much more in-depth and a lot more intricate, and a lot of the characters in the comics are um, a lot more raw and intimidating than how they are portrayed on TV. All right, now I understand you recently had a zombie experience of yourself when you went to the escape room nearby. How was that? Uh, it, w it was an experience, that's for sure. Um, I went with Army Century Media and a whole group of us went. We were all stuck into a room that, I mean, we can communicate together, but put under pressure, some of us kind of like jarred each other, so that was interesting. But, and throw a zombie into that mix, it, it, let's just say a lot of people were being pushed. <laughs> and uh, it, was a, it was a great experience, it was a lot of fun, and I definitely do recommend it for everybody. Did you end up getting killed by the zombie or killed by it? I actually did, but it was because I kind of gave up because um, their name will not be mentioned, but they kind of shoved me in front of them, and then I just <laughs> stood there and was like, okay, I'm gonna die regardless, so let's make this graceful. So, so you're saying that you lack the survival skills and the intensity to survive if you let someone else push you in front? I would not say that. That's a different scenario. When you're gonna compare uh, something like the escape room to a real life zombie apocalypse situation, there is kind of, there is a big difference because you're not given weapons in that kind of scenario. Now let's say that the worst does happen and the apocalypse starts and everyone's a zombie tomorrow. I know a lot of Walking Dead fans like to have their favorite weapon that they would use in the apocalypse profiled. What would your favorite weapon be to use? Uh, a f I don't really have like a specific favorite weapon. However, I do have a range of uh, type of weapons I would like. Uh, I definitely go for a, um, a, a machete, sword, or knife type uh, weapon because it's just a lot more feasible in a zombie apocalypse situation because you have, when you have a katana or a sword, you have that long range mobility while um, still staying uh, silent. And then you, you, when you have like your short, way, short range weapons, like a knife, you can, um, it's, it's a closer and a lot more riskier, but you're still gonna get the same effect if you can um, stab it into the brain of the, of the zombie. But a lot of people do choose uh, guns or uh, flares or other kind of situations. And I do see like those can definitely be beneficial in some situations, but I also think they're a little, a little unrealistic when it comes down to it. Especially because if you have a gun, you have to worry about ammunition. A knife, you don't have to have, you don't have that problem. And you have the noise to worry about. Right. Well, I hope you all learned something today in case the worst does happen tomorrow. And thank you for joining us for this episode of All About.